Well, this morning in the Roadshow Kitchen, we're so excited to welcome Dan Whalen. You don't know his restaurant because he doesn't have one. Instead, he has a blog, and the name is awesome. It's called The Food in My Beard. Do you have any in there today? Oh, I think I cleaned it. No, okay, when I'm good. on TV, I have to clean it Just a little checking. bit. Just <laughs> checking. I think that's a fantastic name for a blog. And you said you got started because food was always a big part of your family. Yeah, uh, eating with my family, having family meals. And when I went to college, I felt like I missed that, and I wanted to bring it back with my roommates and have tacos together and and now it's spun into this spun into huge a big blog. blog that is is my job now it's awesome today we are making a recipe that can be found on your blog and also mm -hmm. on our website too turkey broccoli japche am i saying japche that yeah and it don't worry it's easier to make than it is to say okay so but what do we it's, need it's a noodle dish it's inspired by korean eating mm -hmm. and it's very healthy and uh you're probably getting inundated with healthy recipes at this time of I'm year. I'm okay with that, though. Um, but people love to do the the vegetable noodles, mm. and instead we're going to put like real noodles in because we don't want to just eat a big plate of vegetables. Yeah. And then you'll lose your your resolutions right away. <laughs> sure. We have tons of broccoli. We have turkey. Um, it's Shady Brook Farms turkey, which is raised with no growth promoting antibiotics, hormones, or steroids. So it's good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. And it's all 700 family farms. Speaking of eating with your family, I you know, it's that. all 700 family farmers. That's so that funny because I, I pick up that brand at the market a lot, <laughs> and, and now I guess there's a, a reason behind it. Yeah, so it's just a quick noodle stir fry, and um, it's going to be, you know, you'll watch it come together really quickly, and it's going to be something like that. that's wholesome that you can eat all year and feel good about. It. Nice. I feel good to have you in our kitchen today. We're going to get started in just a bit. This is really good stuff. Dan Whalen's here. The, he has a blog. The Food in My Beard is his blog. He's also got a couple of books that are going to be coming out later on uh, later on this year, right? Next year, yeah. Next year. Good All stuff. All Tater Tot cookbook. I, really? <laughs> yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, my God. Dude, you're coming back. We love yeah, Tater Tot. Yeah, sure. All right, now we have to talk healthy stuff. Let's, let's be serious. Yeah, let's yeah. be serious. Um, turkey, broccoli, chapche is what we're making. And yeah. look at these. I don't know if you can see these, these cool noodles that you're actually putting in. These They're noodles are actually made from sweet potatoes. Is that what it is? Not. Yeah. You can find them at any Asian grocery store. If you if you don't if you can't find them, you can use rice noodles, which they have at any grocery store. Right. But I think going out of your way to find unique ingredients is a way to make healthy food more interesting. And they're translucent. If you can't really see you know, see that well on TV, they're translucent and they look they look great. Yeah. So uh, I've done a lot of chopping. Mm -hmm. Notice everything kind of emulates the noodle. Uh, shape mm -hmm. because when you eat it now you have a bowl of vegetables and noodles it all kind of seems like a big bowl of noodles got it uh, I got the turkey cooking here which a lot of people their go-to is chicken for healthy meals right. but I think turkey uh, it's a lot more flavorful actually if I even make even like tacos at home I make it with ground yeah. like ground turkey yeah, or something sure. um, so People use, a lot of people got a spiralizer for Christmas mm -hmm. this year to make these vegetable noodles, but I just like to use a julienne peeler. So you can see this here? So we yeah, just kind of like run this. Right down, like you're peeling it. Run this down and it. Just making peels, it makes uh, Comes it makes right through. strips. Like yeah, it makes, makes little strips. That's great. So we have this. And as far as turkey, you basically cook it the same way you would a wood chicken. Right, exactly. The grill, right? Yeah, but see how it's nice and brown here? I yep. think that's really where the flavor is. A lot of people see that step in a recipe that says brown the meat and they just kind of gray the meat. Yeah. To me, like, make sure I like a little it. crispiness yeah, on the sure end, on the it. outside yeah. of it as well. And the reason it smells so good right now is this is just cooking in sesame oil. Also really good, yeah. too. So I grated the garlic and ginger and that's going to go in soon to kind of flavor the whole dish. Right. And it's just going to have all those veggies and all that noodle goodness. And this is actually pretty, this is actually a, a great meal and it's simple and easy to make, too. Quick, yeah. Very it's quick. all kind of thrown in the pan, as you'll see in the next segment. I'll just throw it all in the pan and mix and it all together. Mix it all in that bowl, and it'll be done. And you are good to go. So we will uh, we'll do that in just a little bit. Also talk about Dan's blog. Find some great recipes for the new year. Back to you. It's really good here in the Roadshow mm -hmm. Kitchen. Dan Whalen's here from, and he's got a blog, The Food in My Beard. You can check that out for some great recipes. Turkey broccoli Jeff Che is yeah. what we are uh, putting together. It really does. It smells smells so good. You want to just review? Combination really. Tell of, everybody what you got. Uh, sesame oil and garlic and ginger. That's mm. what you're smelling right That's now. That's a secret. <laughs> That's a great combination. So what's I like this dish because it's super vibrant, and. That's why I'm kind of sautéing things different, separately and then putting them in the bowl because I don't want that um, beautiful purple cabbage to affect the bright greens that's going on here. But what's great about this is like you don't need to 
take stuff in, take stuff out. We're just gonna put it all in this bowl as it's ready, and then mix up the bowl, and then it's done. See, I like it's it. It's not even that much of a mess. No, easy it's not. I got easy one, cleanup, which is also good too. One pan and one bowl. Good. So uh, the broccoli's here cooking. I like the stuff to stay a little crisp and fresh. You mm -hmm. don't want to like cook it to death. Yeah, um, I like having the, that bite. The, the carrots too. only take another minute, and the the bright, you know, orange with the purple again is really nice. And when you're eating healthy, you need you need that color pop to make you really start <laughs> craving the food. You know, um, I keep saying you need a lot of things when you're eating healthy, but it's true. If you were just eating healthy, boring, bland food, then you it's would lose your eat. resolutions right. right away. You'd mm -hmm. be eating a pint of ice cream by the end of the night. <laughs> well, no, but you need Not to such a bad idea, though. <laughs> 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 some nights, that's some okay. nights, you know. But you're right. You you need food, whatever you're eating, whatever dietary restrictions or whatever plan that you're on. You want to be excited about yeah, the meal absolutely. that you're about to eat. And if color is it, go for it. So this is garlic and ginger, and now it's going to smell really good in here. Okay. If it didn't so already, just right. say grated that all together. That's grated. Yeah, I have a microplane here. Just put it all together, yep. mush it together, and, and you're ginger good. can be stringy if you chop it. So that's why I like to grate it because okay. it, it it sort of like hides in the dish more. Nice. Well, that the right flavor. there looks good. Yeah. That looks delicious. Well, you bring up a good point. You can keep this just veggies, but you've made an, an addition to add a little more protein. The, to the turkey dish. and yeah, the, the noodles turkey. as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know, like the, like I was saying, the trend is the vegetable noodles, but yeah. it's just a it's just a bowl of limp vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is soy sauce. I have mm. some chili paste in here, sesame oil, and rice vinegar. Little and I'm just going to. Pour Put that, that in. in the pan and give it like one more minute, and then we you. can just mix it all in that bowl right there. Sounds good. Now let's talk about the blog too, because a lot of people mm -hmm. this time of year they do want to eat healthy, but when they get home get home at nighttime, sometimes the easiest thing to make is just grabbing something out of the fridge, and, and it may not be that good right. yeah. for you. So what do you got on your blog? Not really much healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we love you even more, Dan. <laughs> no, I I make I make healthy foods. No, uh, day to day, yeah. mm -hmm. but for me, the most interesting foods are comfort food, classics, I hear you, my brother. and like mashups. That's what I'm known for. Sounds mash good. I like to uh, take two dishes and make mm -hmm. one new dish out of them. I was actually perusing your blog earlier. Well, he ha he makes things like cheesy chili, cheesy chili spinach dip. Really? Beer meatloaf sliders. That sounds awesome. Chili basil ricotta <laughs> brownies, breakfast oh, yeah. Mexican lasagna. I mean, those are just some to of the things. To heck with this so stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the point is, this is when something is healthy and interesting, that's when I really like it. And mm -hmm. if you see a healthy dish on my blog, you know that it's interesting enough. Right, that it actually does have a good, right. a good flavor and a good taste to it. And this that looks is a good, good one. I like that you just pear tongs, toss that yeah, all together. Yeah, you just toss it all together. Really and easy. Put it on the plate, and there it is. Um, I have some sesame seeds over there. Oh by yeah, you that we can to just put on top. Off. Here, we'll okay. sneak these Grab around. This, Give those to you. Okay, put that on top. And I love how this stemmed because of those family traditions. Going back to that of how you said, you know, you come from a big Italian family, and your mom was always cooking in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, and, and when and I make foods like this, it needs to be something I crave, and because of that Italian-American family, what I crave all the time is a big bowl of pasta. Right. right? Yeah, right. <laughs> well, there <laughs> you go. so now just you can do version. it a different version, right. and you can so make then it a just healthier. sprinkle. Yeah, I'll just grab this, and there you go. Sprinkle it on top. Make it a extra pretty, and... There Looks good go. to me. Beautiful. Looks good. All right, let's, let's give this a... I know, you're reaching for a Let's give this a shot. <laughs> give, this a, uh, give this a try. And for anyone who's looking at this going, those, those noodles look a little weird. <laughs> Tell everybody about yeah, that. Yeah, they're made from sweet potato starch, and you can find them in an Asian grocery store, especially if they're That's specialized in Korean food. Uh -huh. But if you can't find those, just use regular rice noodles, which are at any grocery store. That, all right, good good swap then. But yeah. it's nice to incorporate maybe a new ingredient <laughs> that you wouldn't normally grab. Oh. <laughs> Is it oh, do this, hot just do the <laughs> <laughs> It's delicious! <laughs> Oh, All right, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Save Probably some good. for the rest of us. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. And you can, of course, find this recipe over at roadshow.com.